Hi guys, so in my previous video, I showed you guys what it's like in going over four and how to get out of going over four. I did mention that it's a lot about headshots, aiming, movement, shoulder peeking, knowing uh, positions on the map, smokes and stuff like that. So I recommend watching a lot of YouTube videos on smokes. You can just YouTube how to smoke a site Mirage, search that up, how to smoke a site, uh, dust too and you'll find loads of videos there's plenty of videos with lineups it's very tr it's very easy to learn you just learn what position to stand at what position what place to look at and you just throw the smoke and it should land in a position that will benefit you but in this video i'm just going to show you guys how to um get onto the 1v1 and deathmatch service to improve your aim so there's also community um maps community workshop maps and you can fight bots but personally bots don't move in the same way that real people do so i go down here to community server browser and i look at this list um so we're just going to refresh here we're just going to look at this list and we're going to see what we have here so i'm going to look for a populated server and this one is only mirage 128 tick so really and truly you don't play at 128 tick um and what I mean by this is that CSGO competitive servers run at 64 tick and face it competitive servers run at 128 tick. Now I know that CS2 has announced that they're going to have tick less servers so there's not going to be any tick. Um, so when you're playing the game it's going to be as smooth as possible even better than face it at this current moment in time. But in CSGO at the moment, 64 tick is what the servers are at. So learning and improving at 64 tick is the most ideal way to do it. So you're not gonna, it's not gonna be transferable. We've got some Mirage, um, we've got some AWP servers, um, nuke 1v1 arena. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna join this 1v1 arena. Just double click that, it will jump, get you straight in. And don't worry guys, you can also get drops from these servers. Um, you can get cases, you can get skins. So if you're worried about not getting cases, speaking of cases, I dropped a video a while ago reacting to Anomaly's um, cases video and how cases are going to be very rare and unable to get. That's insane. Um, so yeah, but a lot of people are buying stuff up because of CS2, but yeah. Yeah, so you spawn in here. And as you can see, it's a 1v1, so the maps are a bit bigger. The maps are a bit bigger, so you can see across the map. That was a nice shot from him. So essentially what's going to happen is you're going to load in. Uh, oh, I don't have an opponent. Opponent. But this is the map, so you see the maps are a bit bigger. They aim differently, so what you're going to do is you're going to like shoulder peek here. If they're over here come over here if they keep moving across you're just going to keep hiding your body behind pressing a and d to just hide behind the wall so there you go so just like that so yeah i notice uh, i do need to train train here a bit more myself to be honest i won't pay attention But yeah, I need to um, practice on these servers a bit more. My aim is atrocious. My reaction time is horrible. I haven't played this game in a while, so... I just need to get back into it. I'm going to watch this replay. I didn't touch him once. And he did. I was so exposed. He, he could have his way with me. Pause. There we go, I finally got that guy. So after this round, I should go to Arena 6. And as you get closer and closer, you're just gonna wanna set mini goals for yourself. So you just wanna get, gonna wanna get to like a lower and lower um, arena. There we go, that was nice. But yeah, so now I'm in Arena 4, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna reach Arena 4. Let's see how long I can stay in Arena 4 for. Nice, so past Arena 4, that's good. Now, can I reach Arena 3? How long can I stay in Arena 3? 
Just set mini goals for yourself. Just believe in yourself. Unlucky. Bro, just notice how damn bad this server is. VIP for girls, always free. Yeah, so as you guys can see, like, the longer I'm staying on the server, the better I'm getting. Just reaction time tapping, seeing the head and just taking off the head, you know. What a bot. Anyway. Yeah, another thing is you're gonna wanna practice your spray, so the spray is pulled down and then to the left, I believe, a bit. Or oh, pull down to the right a bit. If you practice small bursts, it's just pull down and that's quite accurate. Quite accurate, so Yeah, just pull down small burst the longer you spray for the less accurate you're gonna be so you don't want to spray for too long so as you can see like if i spray five bullets quite accurate right so i'm gonna spray like 30 bullets and it goes kind of go. all over but yeah guys, you guys get what's going on. So just practice that, practice the 1v1 servers, um, practice your sprays, watch a YouTube video on how to um, smoke sites, Molotov lineups, flashbangs, how to use your utility better. And I'm sure you guys will be um, the same rank as me or higher in no time. But yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace. So, let's go,